Hi, as you can see, we have finished preparing. Let's do the execution. Question 1 says, place about 3 cm cube of lime water in a clean test tube. This is number 1. 3 cm cube of lime water. Follow the marking, 3 cm cube of lime water. And I'm supposed to remove the stopper from this hard glass test tube here. And I'm supposed to heat this part. What PVT is for. Solid X slowly turn, become a black solid. So let me write down the observation. Observation. Sort X upon heating. Change from a green solid to a black solid. Gas evolved gives a white PPT in the lime water. Let me turn off the Bunsen burner. Remember, here says that we have to do two conclusions about the ions and the gases evolved in this reaction. Immediately, I know that a gas carbon dioxide is evolved. Conclusion, CO2 present. Evidence part A When salt QX is heated Gas evolved Gives a white PVT In the lime water Conclusion 2 Let's move on to do the next experiment Part B says that soak the end of a wooden splint This is the end of my wooden splint Soak it in water Deep it into this open test tube. Before that, let me light up my Bunsen burner. Blue flame. Wash the spleen wet end with salt eggs. Orangey green flame. In part C, it says here, add the content of the large test tube label acid Y, which is this one, to the cool hard glass test tube boiling tube from part A, over here. Well, thoroughly mix the content and transfer them to a 100 cm cube beaker. So I'm supposed to transfer the content over from here to here and mix them inside this beaker. So, this is supposed to be cool. So let me put this here, add the acid inside. You're given quite a large amount of acid, so allow this to react. I can see bubbles are forming, so that would be one of the observations. Q dissolve giving a clear greenish blue solution that's somewhere at the bottom. Questions require us to heat until we get a solution. Well, I already gotten a solution, I just need to warm this. But at the moment, let me write down the observation. Now, upon adding acid Y to solid in part A, black solid dissolved, giving a clear, light blue solution. Do not allow it to boil, and this should be my solution Z. So let me not boil it. So this is my solution Z. Now, part D. Part D says add about 2 cm cube of Z. Three pieces of magnesium strip. F 
effervescent is observed. A red solid is formed above the magnesium. Let me put this over here. Because they say that we will need to observe this in a few minutes. Let me, let me move on to part E. Part E says place about 1 cm cube of Z, 1 cm cube of Z. To another 1 cm cube of dilute nitric acid. And another 1 cm cube of barium nitrate. Immediately, I can see over here white PPT is formed. So let me write down observation. White PPT is observed. Now, when barium ad nitrate is added, let me move to the QA notes. Barium nitrate is actually testing for sulfate. So I can conclude that sulfate is present. Over here, sulfate is present in solution Z. Solution Z happen when? After I add acid Y to, to it. So I can conclude that acid Y is actually sulfuric acid. Evidence in part E upon adding dilute nitrate acid followed by barium nitrate white PPT is observed. Let me move on to the next part. Now, I'm supposed to part E, part F now. Add another 1 cm cube of Z and add aqueous ammonia slowly until no further changes are seen. I see some blue precipitate forming and upon adding more, the blue precipitate darkens and slowly it becomes a, a deep blue solution. So let me write down. Upon adding aqueous ammonia, light blue PPT was observed. In excess, light blue PPT dissolved, giving a deep blue solution. And I can conclude from the QA notes that a deep blue solution is actually copper. So conclusion 2, Cu2 plus present in salt X. Evidence, part F, upon adding aqueous ammonia, a deep blue, a light blue PPT was seen. In excess, a deep blue solution was formed. Part G now. Part G says that I add another 1 cm cube of Z in a clean test tube and add a one large spatula full of sodium chloride into the solution. So let me add one spatula, estimated it, and I'm supposed to insert a rubber bar and shake the test tube to thoroughly dissolve the solution. I notice that it become a light green solution and a Cl solid dissolved giving a light green solution. And I'm supposed to add water, which is my distilled water, to about half full. Upon adding distilled water, mix the content thoroughly. I notice that solution become blue again. So upon adding excess water, light green, solution turns blue. This is part D. Over here, you can see that the blue solution has become clear. So, blue solution become a clear solution. And I can see very obviously that a reddish brown solid is formed above the magnesium strip. Bubbles are still evolving. I can test the gas evolve using a lighter slit. By right, a pop sound should be heard. 
Well, I finished the entire experiment. 